Welcome back to A's Auto. It's your boy A's. It's hot, it's sweaty, it's Georgia though, it's humid. But today, once again, as usual, we got something special for one of my people. A little bit of a Subaru, as I like to call the dude. So, let's get into it. This is my boy. Go ahead and introduce yourself, my guy. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Ransford. This is my 2006 Subaru Impreza WRX. I've had it for about three, maybe four years now. All right. So let's look at these wheels, man. These wheels kind of clean. Yeah, that one's a little beat. It got hit like nothing. Some kind of shrapnel thing. I was in the road like a year or two ago, kind of scuffed up. But they're AV, Avid ones, AV 06s. They're 17 by 8s. And they're pretty good for what they are, how much they cost. They look good. There's nothing wrong with them. So uh, I recommend them if you want a budget and you want to look nice. All right. And what kind of brakes are those? Just the Subaru brakes? Yeah, they're the stock brakes. The front has the four pot, the rear has two pot. That's how they came from stock with the from factory. Um, I've upgraded the brakes and rotors. It's DPA rotors and it has HPS pads. All right. Everybody. Along, along with hold the, on one second, hold on one second, man. We got 12. Wild. Just messing with kids. Just, little kids over there. Messing with the kids, man. Keep going. Um, Hawk pads and also Moto 3000 brake fluid and stainless steel front brakes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Man, original paint? Is the paint yeah, original? Original paint is 20 some years old. Oh, no, about 20 years old paint. So it, is, it looks good for what it is from 10 feet away. Look closer, you see swirl marks, scuffs, dents, and veins. But it's all right. Did you wrap it or get it painted? I have no idea yet. Maybe a paint job, maybe a wrap. It just depends on what I want or what if they have what I want to what it look like. Okay. Okay, so my question for you, like where's your flannel at? Where's your vape at? I don't do any of that. I don't like flannel. I don't vape. I'm like the opposite of the stereotype. But you own a Subaru. Yeah. But do you oh. like Riley? Yeah, who doesn't? Uh, who doesn't like it? Everybody like it. Yeah. Okay, so what's the long term goes for this suit? Long term, just keep it running. It's 178,000, maybe a little bit more than that. 178,000 miles on it so far. I bought it with it had 82, so I put just 80,000 miles on it over the last couple years. So big 200,000 coming over, so it's probably when I start to look more into depth, look for like a refresh of everything. Um, build the motor maybe. Transmission probably do a SCI swap because the five speed is glass pretty much. It's up to 400 torque with the five speed, but you have to baby it a lot, so that's the only difference with the five speed. And the six speed is, is built for like a thousand horsepower. So what do you think you're making power wise? But Dino says maybe 250. 250? That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm somebody who's been in the car, it's, it's fun for 250. Yeah, all wheel drive, so you pretty much fill it. As soon as you take off, so it's not it's not not slow, it's not fast. Keep okay. it like that. Alright. So you ain't you ain't killing these Hellcats out here? No. Probably like a scat fat. I don't know. Man, right. no, no. Just a regular Hemi. <laughs> Alright. Alright. What happened up here on the bumper if you don't mind me asking? Um that was a, a low car versus trailer incident. Um if you ever rent a U-Haul trailer and you have a low car, always put some type of uh height thing in the front to get your tires up front higher because the trailer end sits a lot lower than the bumper once it drops down and I backed up it peeled the bumper up and cracked all that so that's why it looks how it is I want to replace it of course but it's not really how I must do this okay. is, would this uh, be a race car at some point track car or would we keep it as a daily I would like to take it to the track one day. Okay. Um, there's a couple things I gotta do first, especially tires and the oil pan uh, baffle, because oil starvation is a thing with these cars, especially if you're taking too many turns or one wide turn. It's horizontally pulls engine, so it happens. Like it's especially a thing with the new BRZs and the GR86s. That's they're also having that issue too. Okay. I mean, I might have to introduce you to my homeboy from the last video, mm -hmm. and go watch the last video if you haven't. Uh, he do autocross, so yeah. I mean, that I too. That's like not far from here. Um, it's over at what's it called? Atlanta Motors? No, Atlanta Speedway. Yes, something like that. It's 
like about 20 minutes from here. So, all right, all right. So, let's go keep going around. What's with this, um, I see you got this Atlanta, what's it, Atlanta Speed Stars? Yeah, it's a sticker I found, I remember a couple years ago, I saw it on like a 240, it was like a real nice 240, and I was like, dang, that's real nice. It took me like a year to find the guy who makes the stickers, and he still had them. So I bought two of them. I probably gotta buy another one because it's gonna start to flake off a little bit. So definitely wanna see if he still makes them. Hopefully he does. Uh, so yeah. Okay, let's talk about this wing though. Cause it's little boxy wing. I like the boxy wing. Yeah. You know. I, I don't like the boxy one, especially if it's just on a WRX. Cause the iconic one is for the STI. That's how it came stock. Right. Some people get a WRX and then throw that on there. And, some people even go too far and put STI badges on a WRX. So it's, to me, it feels like it's an up badge thing. Okay. So I just kept it simple, stock, OEM plus. This is the OEM wing with Cybron carbon uh, wing risers. Okay. Man, she is clean. All right, Ranford. So let's look. Hey, Ranford, let's look inside real quick. Yep. Uh, very dirty. I didn't get a chance to clean it. It's leather seats, front and back. All right. Really uh, somewhat comfortable, I'll say that. Back seats is like not really a person to fit back there unless it's like really short. But it's just a very compact interior. Oh, trust me, I know. Yeah, you know, you're, I mean, you're a big guy, so you know, you fit. Ish. Ish. <laughs> uh, fronts, they're factory, like bucket seat style, you know. Um, they're not the best comfortable seat, but they, they work for what they are. Uh, they're not electric, they're heated. Which is nice in the winter times. Um, yeah, mainly stock, and then have uh, some old-ish uh, gauge cluster I bought on eBay, eBay, Facebook. It's called um, Mad Dad, Mad Dad gauges, I think. Uh, it's a oil pressure, oil temp, sorry, boost and exhaust. But I don't have the oil temp connected or the exhaust temp because you have to weld a bung to your exhaust wherever you want to put it so i haven't done that yet you know I what they know look i will like, do it but they look like the uh the blitz gauges from back in the day yeah i can show you how to how it comes on all right hold on let me get on the other side let me get on the let me big man trot do the big man trot first down let me let me see them things glide on one time for the one time let's, let's, Can we, can we hear it one time? Just turn it on. We don't want you to rev. We in the parking lot. Yeah, I'll turn it on. It's quiet, so it's not like extremely loud. You know, I just kept it tame. It's tame. I like but it. Once you get on it, it gets, it's pretty, it makes a nice sound. It still has a Subaru rumble, but it's still manageable. It doesn't drone, so it's okay on long distance road trips, but okay. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Well, let me tell you this, man. If you like it, I love it because, man, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? In the, in the Subaru versus Evo war, I'm, I'm an Evo guy, but I respect this, man. I like it. Yeah. Hey, can you, how about this? Last thing, all I need, I just want to see what's under the hood, man. All right. I got you. So this is uh, this the legendary boxer, yeah. little four-cylinder. Four-cylinder, four, -cylinder. four, four banger turbo. Uh, it's mainly stock. Only addition is the air oil separator. Um, that's the only thing added to it. That also is a beneficial thing for our cars. Another one is called the Cylinder 4 cooling mod. It just it adds uh, coolant passages because Cylinder 4 is the last cylinder to get coolant, so it always gets hottest coolant. And that's the one that's prone to failure. All right, got the little gold plate right here. Yeah, a little, a little dirty. Uh, Beat Rush. It's, it's a nice little brand. Um, there's a lot of things I want to get from them, but it's just money. It just costs a lot. Money and time, bro. Yeah. What? Uh, ooh, let's ask this real question. What's what's the coilovers? Uh, ISC coilovers. They're very great for what they are and how much they cost. Uh, it was easy to set up. They're helpful people also. If you ask questions, they had answers. They are, the fronts, they are adjustable for the camber. Um, in this setup, how it was with the alignment that I got in the shop I went to. And they're 32 ways, so you can set them all the way soft, all the way hard. And they're very comfortable for the yard. They don't squeak as much, and they 
don't bounce like crazy. It's like, it's, they're very good. They're very good. All right. Okay. That's what's up, man. Well, man, still looking crazy. Still hot. But, man, thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe. Thank you for being on Abe's Auto. My boy, JR, we appreciate you. Yeah. Hey, and so, hey. Tell your people, man. I want other cars on the channel. Tell your folks. Tell your people. Tell your auntie. We review everything, baby. It ain't got to be fast. It can be slow.